cost of tar link is one thing that people have reached out to me to ask me about you know lately like hey what's the price of star link now i'd like to buy where can i buy i am going to talk about all of that with you know screenshots on screen so you can also see these things and we're going to go through them together so when you're buying a Starlink device these days, the best place I usually recommend to buy Starlink is the website, starlink.com. They ship to Nigeria, they ship to mine, and you get your device in like within two weeks, right? But if you don't want to wait for two weeks, you can check with resellers. And the best way to also check with resellers is to go to starlink.com, scroll all the way down to the footer of the site, you see authorized resellers. When you click on that, you will see a list of resellers according to Starlink. Basically, these are people who they've partnered with that are authorized to resell their devices. So there are two resellers in Nigeria for Starlink according to the website. And um, there are five in Ghana. I've seen one in Ghana, um, in Accra when I went to Ghana. And you can just walk in to you know, ask about Starlink and all of that. I don't know if they help you set it up, but I am expecting these guys to assist you in any way they can to set it up now what if your friend or your neighbor tells you hey i have a starlink for sale should you buy from them you can it's not a crime but like i used to say if you're buying starlink from someone make sure that they're going to help you set it up this is very very important because if they don't help you set it up you might not do it well and it might not work well so whoever is selling starlink to you if you're buying from someone needs to help you set it up also needs to give you the login to the starlink account so you can log in there you know be able to renew the plan when it expires or change the plan and all of that now let's say you go on starlink website or you want to buy from someone now and they tell you hey there are two starlink devices oh there is the mini which is the starlink mini and there's the standard starlink what is the difference between the two of them well i am going to tell you their differences but let's go over their prices real quick now if you're buying from Starlink.com, the standard Starlink device with the plan and everything is currently 707,000 Naira. Basically, 7,000, I mean, 707,200. If you break this down, you see that the standard Starlink kit, that's the device itself and everything, is 590,000 Naira. And then, you know, the activation charge. This activation charge is actually new. Before, Starlink didn't use to charge an activation fee but now they are charging for it. An activation fee of 80,900. Then shipping and handling is 36,300. I don't think this has changed. If you sum all of that together, it's 707,200. So that is the price of a standard Starlink device for your home, right? So with a one month free subscription, 707,200. Now, if you decide, hey, I want to buy the mini one. What about the mini one? What's the price? Well, the price of the mini one is actually 754,300. Why is the mini one more expensive? Well, the mini Starlink is basically like a dish and a router in one. It's not as strong as the standard one that you put on the roof of your house and point it to space to connect with Starlink satellites, which, you know, has been or have been launched in space by SpaceX. So the Starlink mini is the new Starlink device that was rolled out recently and it's basically a router and dish in one it's a flat device i'm going to show it to you on screen now it's expensive because it was actually built for people who move around it wasn't built for people to set up on their roof or set up in their living room it's for people who like to move around maybe you like to go camping or you like to travel from one state to another in a country you know stuff like that that is why the starlink mini was built so if you plan to, you know, use the Starlink Mini, you have to pay an initial fee of 754,300. So the mini kit itself is 318,000 Naira. Now the activation charge for the mini, this is the criminal part. The activation charge for the mini is 400,000 Naira. I don't know why it is that expensive. Um, if you hover on the, on the, you know, the two tip, on this page about it it basically tells you that that's the one-time charge for the activation but then again i'm saying why do you have to pay four hundred thousand naira, you know to use starlink mini my excuse for them is this is not the one you mount on your roof it's the one again you pretty much you know <laughs> drive around with the kit is smaller 
it, it doesn't consume a lot of power. The range is also smaller. So again, if you're getting this, just know that it's not even as strong as, you know, the standard styling that you put on the roof of your house with the router in your living room or wherever in your house. The mini is smaller. You can put it on top of your car or pretty much in your car and move it around. It's very good for camping. It's very good for road trips as well. Would I buy the Starlink Mini right now? I don't need it, right? I have the standard one, but just know what you're getting into. Just because it's the the only difference, the only what makes it better than you know the standard Starlink is the fact that it's smaller. The range, you know, the power consumption, everything is just smaller. So it's not as strong. It doesn't consume as much power as your standard Starlink. What about the subscription? You can do the standard subscription, the standard residential plan subscription on it, which is also 57,000 era. So that's it. That's really the update I have for you guys. If you have questions, if you'd like to compare the devices more, let me know in the comments. I'm going to try as much as possible to give you an answer on it. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for your time and I will see you around. Bye.